Please sign in, sir. <laughs> my name is uh, John Nosbish. I live uh, lived in Monroeville since '91 and own my house on Ruth Drive since '92. Uh, the problem I, I'm just bringing to uh, the attention of the board is that uh, we have overweight vehicles that have always ventured in our streets, and it has really become a problem over the last year. Uh, 18 wheelers, in fact, just before I came here, we had one jamming up traffic on our street and on Center Road. Um, I would like to see the municipality enforce the law. Uh, apparently, the police don't, you know, they have a lot of other things to do besides pull over overweight vehicles. I understand they're busy, but uh, last time I called the police uh, about six weeks ago, the 9-11 uh, officer told me, uh, well, how do you know it's overweight? As I told him, it was an 18-wheel vehicle. I would guess that an 18-wheel vehicle would weigh more than five tons, um, since the average tractor weighs about eight tons. Ron, I'm going to let you address that since you... You know where I live, Ron, right? I do. Here's the bad news. <clears throat> Who says that it's legal to post that street for five tons? Well, does the municipality have the legal authority to? That's what I'm saying. They have it posted. They do not. They might have it posted. So they can't enforce it. It's not legal. Why is it not legal? Because there has to be a traffic and engineering study done to that road that shows why it can't hold a regular truck. And I did one when I was on did traffic, you? and it passed. So the sign remained to try to discourage trucks. It certainly can't cite them. It's the same as McClure Road. McClure mm -hmm. Road finally started collapsing, and we had physical evidence that we could yeah. lower the tonnage on that. But I'm just telling you the way the law is. Don't get mad at me. Oh, no, I'm not going to get mad at you. But, uh, you know, we just had our street repaved not two years ago, and it was looking pretty bad. And actually, we had the storm drain collapse right in front of my house. Actually, it was a... Uh, uh, a big hole under the road. I shouldn't have said anything, and then one of those trucks would have fallen through the road easily. Well, I was going to ask no. Council or uh, Mr. Hugus tonight on how we could maybe put a sign up that said no, no, no trucks except for local delivery, and see if that would deter some of it. Is there a business uh, on your street? Because that's not really. No, it's all, it's all residential. They're heading from 22 up Beatty. They turn on to Bruner, which is right. runs right into Ruth. And then uh, they're heading to uh, Plum, to the uh, business park over there. If but I'm not, I'm not after the truckers, if, unless they're breaking the law. But obviously now it's, they're not breaking the law. Right. But I think when they see this double yellow line on these residential streets, that's probably a sign to them that, hey, this is through I'm traffic not, and maybe a commercial I mean, area. through an ordinance, we can't put a weight restriction. I mean, we put stop signs up. We put... Uh, well, stop signs have traffic and engineering studies. But weight restrictions? Need traffic and engineering studies. Right. You actually have to go out and core bore the road, send it out to a laboratory analysis you to have see to what the actual weight can be taken on the road. Can that be done? Is, is that oh, a yeah, big it's expense? Just a, it's a costly venture to do that. The, the minimum, the state says 80,000 pounds. You have to show why that road can't take 80,000 pounds. I, only, I only know this because we went to enforce McClure mm -hmm. Road with the state police. Mm -hmm. They brought the portable scales out. We went out there, and the first thing they asked for was the traffic and engineering study that showed McClure Road was five tons. We couldn't produce it. They went home. It, it's not us. It's yeah. the law. So what we need is a mini bridge there with a five ton limit. <laughs> nah, I just, <laughs> I'm just saying that the trucking company is going to say our yeah. tax money paid for that road too. Yes. And you know okay. what, John, just and what Ron suggested, Ron, I don't mean to cut you I, off. So I was fun. thinking about a sign that said exactly. no truck traffic except local delivery, and maybe it would deter, deter it. Yeah. Wouldn't make it enforceable, but maybe it would deter it. It was like when they had all the Pat buses running up there. Yes. And we yeah. asked Pat to reroute them, oh, and that they did. Oh, happened. Okay. And they did. Well, how about if we put some type of uh, like guardrail right around the uh, corner at uh, Beatty and uh, Bruner? What would that do? Well, something to because the trucks have to go on this on the grass to make that turn. They can't make that turn without being on the road, or being off the road. That's why I thought you meant off the road. They'll yeah. just knock yeah. the guardrail over. <laughs> They'll get stuck on the or some type of barrier, you know, just the the, the rods that they 
Why don't we Sorry, try the man. sign first and see how what, what that? Does. But on both sides of the road. Yeah. At uh, and we'll Beatty post it and say and Bruner. No, they don't come no down. trucks except local. They don't delivery. come down center onto. Uh, they're coming uh, from Beatty. They're coming from Beatty because they're taking that shortcut to get over to the uh, yeah. the park. So we'll post right. it at that end and see what happens. How about a single yellow line? Because truckers have told me when they see that double yellow line, they're thinking commercial traffic permitted. I don't know. We can, we can put a center line down. I mean, Instead of the two yellow I, lines. How do you Because eliminate? the other Call, residential can we? streets have a can single. Can we do that? Well, the problem is it's a double yellow line now. You have to go out and black out that. And then no, it'll, it'll wear line. off. When they come around and, and repaint the signs, hmm. you know, they can wait a year. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Try the signs first. See yes. What. Thank you, Ron. 